Okay, hi. I want to talk about Beyonce today, but before we get into like a few general points about Beyonce, we've just got to talk about the twins first. They're right out there. What can you say? First of all, <laughs> okay, whose nipples are that high? Really, any higher and they would have been scratching her chin. And then, you know, okay, I don't know the concept for the whole Miss Carter to a show. I don't know if the whole naked body in glitter motif actually is part of the story of the show. <laughs> but, um, huh? I mean, why didn't she just paint a giant pussy on there and be done with it? I mean, it's fabulous, don't get me wrong. And I'm thinking maybe she's trying to draw, like, attention to her femininity because, you know, she was kind of accused of looking like a man after the Super Bowl thing. Poor Beyonce. I mean, she's the, probably the most beautiful woman in the world. And <laughs> how is it that from one performance she just looked ugly in all of those photos. The poor woman. She was going through a whole phase there where she could do nothing right. You know, there was the White House where she was accused of lip syncing, the inauguration. Yeah, it was just all bad news. Maybe she's kind of going for the, you know, if you're going to write bad things about me, here's some fucking tits. <laughs> here's something to actually write about. But I've got a question for you. The Miss Carter show. Whatever happened to the independent woman? I really don't get this. Like, okay, so... She's married to Jay-Z, I get that. But she's Beyonce, Beyonce Knowles. Like, she's not, like, Victoria Beckham, right? She was famous before she was with David Beckham. She was Victoria Adams, posh spice of the Spice Girls. And she kind of embraced, she took on her husband's name and embraced his name as part of her identity. And that's who she became. But Beyonce didn't do that. She's made no secret of the fact that she's married to Jay-Z. But she hasn't depended, she hasn't needed to depend on that at all for any reason to keep herself famous or relevant or anything. If, if anything, she's kind of like the poster child that young girls, well, most of the time, should look up to. You know, as being an independent, strong, inspirational woman. Now to kind of call it the Miss Carter tour, like she's, she's Jay-Z's wife first and then she's Beyonce. I don't really care for that. I tell you who would disagree with me. I don't even know his opinion, but I'm sure his opinion would be totally on the Beyonce side. Is <laughs> I follow this fantastic blog called Pop Trash Addicts written by this guy. He's in Sydney, Australia as well. His name's Mike. And he's like obsessed with Beyonce. She can do no wrong by him. I haven't read his thoughts on the Miss Carter tour name yet, but um, I bet you he'd be all for it and think it's wonderful and yay for codependence and all that jazz. You know, I'm really hit and miss with Beyonce. I want to love her. I really do want to. And sometimes I do. I bought this Blu-ray, like, the day it came out, because I thought, wow, she, you know, she would put on an amazing show. I never saw her live. But um, this was supposed to have been directed by her. It was, like, 108 shows of, like, footage from professionally shot stuff and fans' ca cell phone camera footage in the audience and all kinds of stuff. And apparently she edited it all together and directed it. I don't know about that. But, um... In it, she there's some like behind the scenes stuff, and she seems like so genuine and so nice, and 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 there are times when oh, she just moves me. She moves me to tears in this Blu-ray. She does uh, that beautiful song of hers, Halo, and it's like a tribute to Michael Jackson, and uh, she plays this like video of her and her sister getting ready to go to their Michael Jackson first Michael Jackson concert when they were like you know, 10 years old, and it's just so beautiful and it makes me cry. But then she does some other bullshit like that. Girls Run the World, remember that song? Like, what the fuck? Like, she can do some amazing music and some absolute fucking garbage. Some of the music she puts out, I just think is so... I call it fast food pop because you can have a song like Halo, which is, like, timeless. You could play that in 50 years and it'd still be beautiful. But you could play Girls Run the World... Or that one that she did with Lady Gaga, like total trash. You can't play that in five minutes without it being stale and cold. She's just got so much fucking talent and I think sometimes she wastes it. But I guess she wouldn't be the first person to waste amazing talent, would she? Hey, did you catch her new Pepsi commercial, Grown Woman? It's pretty cool, except she's so typically Beyonce whitewashed. Sure, I guess, you know, her complexion is fair-ish anyway, but half the time she looks like she's just been painted down. I just don't get it. I think she looked, you know what she looked great in was Dreamgirls and she was very dark in that. She looked fantastic. She should embrace her African-American-ness. No, I'm not saying that she like doesn't want to be black or anything like that. You know, she's obviously a black woman, but sometimes she doesn't look it. <laughs>
What is my point? I just wanted to. I just watched the Pepsi commercial. I wanted to talk to you about Beyonce for a little while. So um, enjoy those twins. Okay, bye.